I'm going to take this grinder or cutter or whatever you want to call it apart and make something special out of it. What I believe will be a very useful tool in my shop. So let's do this together. Might be a waste of time, we'll see. First thing I'm going to do is disassemble it by taking these screws out right here. Um, I'll let you know a little bit about this tool. It's, it's a very cheap tool and you don't expect these to last very long. At least I don't if I buy this inexpensive throwaway stuff. But let's take these screws out right here as four of them. And let's take this head off and see what we got. By the way, the motor runs on this just fine. Something is really messed up in the head. Now that isn't coming loose. Why? Let me see if I can get in there. There it comes. Oh, I see. I'm pulling the whole motor out. Well, shoot. Everything went flying. I'm not trying to save the motor anyway, but there's the motor. And what went flying was a brush that came loose. That's these right here. I could have loosened that up. Okay, now I want to take these four screws here, and that takes a straight screwdriver. So let's see if those turn out. Yep, they're not in there very tight, that's for sure. Maybe we'll discover why this doesn't work. Maybe it's something that could actually be fixed. I never thought about that. But if it could, would I fix it? I don't know, probably not. But we'll see. Let's just see where we are on it. Two more here to loosen up. Bear with me. You know, as a kid, I used to bring a lot of stuff home that people threw away. Mostly mechanical stuff that needed torn apart. And I found that to be very intriguing. Why is beyond me. But I did bring stuff home and I'd tear it apart and try to put it together, see what would happen. And for the most part, I did. I wasn't very successful, but on occasion I was. I'm not sure why the thing didn't turn the way it was supposed to, because nothing really looks that off. But if you hold this and turn this, that shaft does not turn. So there's definitely something not right it's either ah i see right now this this gear here's sheared off or something let's get it out of there and see what we got ah, i can't get it out of there what the heck i bet that's supposed to be on splines or something and that uh, just that's why it doesn't go because that just spins on there there's a flat area on it. Wait a minute. Let me take a closer look at that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's not what I'm after anyway. What I'm after is this right here. Looks like there's a little split key pin right on that. So I'm going to get my pliers out and take that off. Let's see if I can get in there or if these are too big maybe. I don't know. I guess it would help if I'd put my glasses on. You know, I got 20-20 vision when it's at a distance, but I guess as you get older, you get nearsighted or whatever it's called, and you gotta have reading glasses and some other glasses to see things up close. But uh, I'm just gonna see if I can't get this without it. It's close, come on, get in there. But yeah, I used to bring a lot of junk home. Other piece, people's junk is my treasure, I guess. 
But uh, that's where I started, I think, realizing that I like this kind of stuff. And over the years, I haven't had a lot of time to mess around with broken things because I was just too busy raising a family and making a living. But there I got that off. You can see that. And I just didn't have time for everything, I guess. There's a little key in here now. I'm going to see if I can't pop that key off of there. Feels loose, so it should come out fairly easy. Yep, came right out. It's on the end of the screwdriver. Right there. Put it there. Now let's see if the shaft will come out. The shaft still doesn't come out of there. Let me see if I can get something to tap on that to get it out. You're not going to believe this, but same place I got this, I picked up a bunch of hammers. And two of these ball peen hammers were in there. They're made in the USA, I think. But I cleaned them up, and I'll be darned if they're not brass. Yeah, it surprised me too. So the couple of bucks I paid for all them hammers sure paid off there. I've got two of these. It's amazing. And they look like junk. Let's see if this will come out. Yeah, it's coming right out of there. Okay, this is what I was after. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. In that same bunch of junk I bought, there were actually two of these, two of these right here. One worked just fine, the other didn't. Here's the other one, it's identical, and it works just fine. But what I want here is this right there and this right here. Well, that may work and it may not. Let's take a blade and see how that tightens up. Let's use this one here and see if this tightens up on there. It's supposed to. Take your wrench, snug that up some, just like that. And what we have is that shaft on that. Now let me show you something. Got a cordless drill here. And I'm going to take this and put it right in the cordless drill and tighten that up. Now look at that. Now, I got to forewarn you, this isn't for the lighthearted because this is dangerous. So put on gloves, whatever you want. But I want to show you what I'm going to try with this. Hang on here just a minute. Let's pretend that this piece of metal is on a, an automobile or something like that. And what you can do with that is just go ahead and okay the problem I'm experiencing is this is loosening up on me and I believe the reason it is is because I got it in forward gear let me put it in reverse and see if that makes a difference That did not make a difference. That's still loosened up. Now I've got to figure out why that would do that. If it would loosen up here, 
why doesn't it loosen up in the tool? Have an idea. Let me get back with you. I figured it out. What I needed to do is go find me another one of these nuts, which I had a spare one over there, and I put it on so it's like double nutted now. And I think that's going to make the whole difference. So let's see if this actually will cut through here. Can you see that? Or should I get you down further? Or how are we doing that? Right there. That actually worked pretty good. You can see that's cutting, and the problem I'm having is this is so floppy in my vise, it just isn't holding good enough. But you see how I cut right through that? Getting it set up, if it was on a fender or something like that, and see this is pretty heavy still, it's 22 gauge, but I don't think it's any heavier than what you would normally have. But uh, that cut just fine. Now another issue I see I'm having is this wants to slide in the chuck where it's chucked up. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go at it and I'm going to cut this shaft right there. I ain't know what I'm not either. What I'm going to do is just make me three flat spots on this shaft so that when I chuck it in there, it has flat spots to come onto so it can't spin in there. And I think that will work just fine. Let's go over to my grinder and see if we can't get that done. I'm going to leave the wheel on and see if I can't hold it to do what I want to do because all I need to do is put three flat spots on there. Let's see how this works. See, there's a nice flat spot on there. I'm going to make it just a little bit more. Yes. And yes. I got that a little hot. You might not want to do that on account of taking the temper out of the steel. Really don't want to touch that because it's, yeah, it's hot. But you can see, and I could have spent a lot more time on this to make it precise, but I wanted to show you guys quickly what I'm trying to work with here. And, you know, quite frankly, all I'm trying to do is just demonstrate how easy it is to take junk and turn it into something useful. So let's see if this here actually holds better now. That's it. You can see that that's got a little wobble to it now. And that would be uh, why you'd want to have that more precise and maybe not quite as profound as what I did. But you get the idea. Let me put this back in here and let's see if if that spins again. It certainly doesn't. It does not spin. <laughs> you can see what can happen though. Broke it. I don't know if this is successful or not, but I think taking a little bit more time and effort you definitely could uh, could make something out of a scrap grinder to to cut well I took what was a piece of junk out of this old grinder and I turned it into something that could be useful 
I will go ahead and dress this down a little bit and get it so it doesn't wobble and make it a little bit better than what I had shown you here. But I wanted to get it done so you could see what you can accomplish if you try. Share with me what you have done in your shop in using old junk and turning it into something useful, a tool, what have you. If you like my content, please share or please subscribe to my videos, uh, to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. And if you like this type of video in particular, I would suggest that you watch this one right here. What it is, is me sharing a story about my life as a young boy. It starts out slow, so bear with me. Um, how I inherited or why I have the desire to take junk and turn it into something good. It's this video right here. Click on that and, and watch that video. Can it be fixed? You're darn right it can. Can you fix it? Sure you can. Until the next one.